Hello, my name is Angus Kennedy. I'm a writer, I'm an author, I'm the editor of a magazine for the chocolate industry, and my job is to taste chocolates. Ruby chocolate we're not going to see on the market for quite a long time, but the ruby chocolate has been claimed to be the fourth chocolate, but actually um, there's lots of different coloured chocolates, so how come then we have a 99% lint chocolate? Why wasn't that called a fourth chocolate? Because that was black. So. I, I'm not convinced that it's a fourth type of chocolate along with white, dark and milk. Yes, it's a different colour, but um, having said that, I know um, chocolate producers in Peru that have been producing um, uh, this type of pink chocolate for years. If you can actually get the producers to tell you how it's produced, uh, which I have asked them quite a lot, they're not giving me the recipes, it's a, it's a heavily guarded secret, but basically there is a cocoa bean that they have uh, identified. Now if you, if you look at actually a cocoa bean casing, I didn't see photographs, they're actually quite sort of pink and purple when you see photographs of them. So actually the natural colour for cocoa bean can be purple, so it's not unusual. So all they've done is they process it in a way that they retain the colour and produce the chocolate. So it's actually quite simple. So if you want to know how to taste ruby chocolate, it's really easy, you can do this at home. So get yourself a piece of white chocolate, put that in your mouth first. Have a couple of raspberries, mix them up. Now put in some milk chocolate, kind of chew it around to swallow it, that's ruby chocolate. It's quite easy, it's, it's, it's just a raspberry tasting sort of whitish chocolate.